Growing up, I was always an observer, especially an observer of space and place and was sort of artistically inclined but wanted to make things. And I came from another perspective. I studied philosophy before uh, deciding to go into architecture. I, mean, I think that working in Los Angeles, uh, in the, out of everywhere else in the United States, is one of the most fruitful places to work as an architect. It has a deep history of architectural experimentation. It's a creative city, so it's filled with people doing all sorts of creative things, lots of creative minds. So there's a lot of opportunity to work with other, other creatives and really kind of push the envelope. There's not a lot of historical boundaries. And there's a lot of different types of projects that we can work on, a lot of opportunity for smaller insertions to be made into the city, uh, which is the kind of work that we like to do, and sort of cross-cultural collaboration and collaboration with other artists and designers and people in different creative fields. Right at the moment, uh, children at play is another thing that inspires me a lot. Uh, just how inventive they can be with whatever is around and also artist studios as kind of spaces of creative work that are made, you know, given life by the work that's happening in them and the process. I think we, we actually start by talking a lot, especially since there are two of us. There's a lot of kind of free-form thinking ideas thrown out and we like to mix this and that like lots of different things together uh, and see how they might bounce off one another so we bounce verbal ideas dr quick drawing ideas imagery off of each other a lot that's usually how we start most work yeah and there we sort of have a collage technique maybe not physical collage but it's kind of a mental collage so we'll throw all these ideas out and see how they can kind of smash together and which which groupings or which pairings of things are appropriate for that particular project. <laughs>